Okay. All right, so here we have another session today, and this is an exciting time for uh, folks like myself and uh, Mike Carino, my partner online here. Uh, we're going to show you some really um, interesting things that's going on in the market. Um, today we're going to talk about um, who is doing advertising, uh, what companies are out there. Every day we, we work um, with our clients and a lot of them have been um, working with other uh, what we call pedestrian marketers or, or the major companies which are AT&T, Yellow Pages, Reach Local, um, Yodel and the rest. And uh, when we approach these clients, uh, you know, it's, it's a situation where uh, there's been uh, dissatisfaction with uh, the results. And, you know, we're finding that between 50 to 70 percent of the spend that people are paying um, these companies is wasted. So if you're spending $1,000 on advertising with some of these larger uh, entities, uh, most of it's just going to a salary, uh, or, or at worse, uh, going to misguided spend. So, Mike, I wanted to talk to you especially about some of the things that we we find in the marketplace that, you know, although disturbing to us, um, the, the clients don't necessarily, and our clients don't necessarily have the um, knowledge base that we have. So right. uh, explaining it's one thing, but really understanding that, you know, a lot of this money, um, you know, at the end of the day, Google is getting rich and these other large entities are getting rich and the customers are getting poor. And uh, we're, we kind of come in as Robin Hood. Well, actually, the customers are not getting, some of them get poor, but really what they're, they're, they're almost being kept at bay, meaning they're almost like slaves to the, uh, the advertisers and, and the marketing agencies. That, that's how they're really kept. So what's the solution to all this? Beat them at their own game. Okay. This is the solution. What, what happens is um, all these companies, Yodo, Reach Local, AT&T, have high inherent costs in their programs, meaning that they, the salespeople have to be paid, the uh, management has to be paid, shareholders have to be paid. So normally what happens is if they sell you a package, and let's say for round numbers, the package is $1,000 a month that they're going to charge you for, for advertising. So what happens is this. Um, you, you, they're going to take, they're gonna take um, that $1,000, and I'm going to type in now exterminator here. I'll show you right now. Exterminator, extermin... Term, term. Oh, actually, no. This, I got. I know it's going to come up. So let's just do pest control. Pest control NYC. Uh, okay. So this is a better example because I can show you some some things. The first three ads on top, they're um, they are um, paid ads. So let's just say if um, I, I recognize the, a couple of them, but I don't want to click on them now. I don't want to charge them money. But if I were to click on them, what would happen is this. For the term Pest Control NYC, I can tell you that the price on that click is somewhere around $10 per click. So $8 to $10 is more or less right. So if, if I click on that, this guy right over here, and I charge him, you know, $10, well, the way Reach, is gonna, Reach Local or Yodo is going to do, they're actually going to hit his account for $16 or $15. And they're going to keep the difference. Ah, so, so we've so, exposed really what's going on here, which is that the, the truth of the transparency of these transactions is, is that you're not paying Google. You're paying Reach Local, AT&T, or whatever. I mean, you pick, pick a company, right, that does the marketing in general in mass. And they're deciding what to charge you, not what the actual cost is. And that fluctuation... Is sort of like the, the well. Let's let's determine how much we need to make off this guy. Price. <laughs> right. I mean, take a look at this. It'll completely blow your mind away. This is actual reach locals, and you can go on one of their sites over here. But this is the terms of the contract. It says keywords with respect to search. Uh, reach local shall have discretion to select the individual words or phrases to be used in connection with the campaign. The advertiser may request to use a certain keywords while Reach Local will be will use reasonable efforts uh, to, to, with this. Reach Local makes no guarantees that any keywords will be used. What they're saying is, look, we choose the keywords, not you. We do. We're going to drive your traffic. We choose the keywords. 
Well, that's blame? crazy. Then, then how, then how could I possibly have any control over my campaign? So it's an underhanded way to, to take this approach. Now, you want to know how to beat the system? Oh, this is great. How we beat the system is this. Um, what happens is if you take a look at a scenario like this, where um, Yodel or any other marketer has a domination in the marketplace, what happens is if you do everything right that these guys are doing wrong, you cut out the waste, you choose the right keywords, you, you set this up so that you only get phone calls certain times a day, you do all the, the hundred different things that would mean that, that, you know, that would guide you to a success, you can blow away all these guys because they're all using it, the same agencies. And that's the beauty of this. All right. No, and I understand that. I think what I was more saying is that I think for most people listening to this would understand that the, the level of percentage of um, increase in your leads and the decrease in your spend is astronomical once you do this stuff. And, uh, you know, we find that, you know, 50 to 70 percent of a budget is basically um, well, I can give you a, a pretty good example of it. Okay. Um, what happens is uh, here. Let me show you an example of an old, old of an old uh, account um, right right now. What happens is if you see this, and most people won't understand this, but if they can actually see it in um, in real life, they might get an idea for it. So let's go into this account and I'll just show you what this guy's paying money on in terms of in terms of leads. And we, here, so we go into this campaign over here. Um, and this is an old campaign, but let's just take a look. It's not even running. So I'll get, I'll set it up for a certain date range, um, custom date range, and we'll do January to, to now. All right. And let's look at the keywords that were actually clicked on that he got spent money for. All right. So here we go. All right. This is the typical advertiser. All right. So bed bugs, bed bugs, what to do. All right, the bugs treatment, how to get rid of bed bugs. Let's go down um, and just start, okay, uh, how do I get rid of, okay, bed bugs and sweet smell, all right? Bed bug heaters. Now, you might think this is trivial, but this is the point. I paid $6.60 for two clicks for someone typing in bed bugs and sweet smell. All right? right. You think that's trivial? Multiply six dollars by a hundred, right. <laughs> because that's what you're going to find a hundred times. People uh, rent zone generator bed bugs. So I was looking for a generator to probably for a heat up machine. That's five dollars and forty five cents. <laughs> so if you take five bucks and multiply it by a hundred times, which is probably pretty good, MGM Grand Las Vegas, five dollars for that click bed bugs. Someone wants to find out if they bed bugs in Las Vegas and at the MGM Grand. You just paid someone five bucks to find out. You paid Google five bucks to, to click on your site for something that has nothing to do with what you do. And this is, by the way, you think that's hysterical? This campaign here that I have access to is actually being managed by another agency. <laughs> and that's the keywords that the guy's, the guy's clicking on. It just blows my mind away. All right, so th again, another show of, of where this wasted spend is. And all you need to really do is go in there and delete all those and cause those not to show up in the search. Well, it's a little more complicated than that. Right. You really have to have a, a proactive approach towards this. You've got to be very defined on what keywords you want and what you don't want. Otherwise, Google's just going to put you under their foot and just slowly rape you, just take your money away. And they're not going to care one bit because it's up to you to know how to advertise, not them. I, I, I talk about this all the time, that they're delivering the, the, the package at a certain monthly rate. They're delivering your, your presence on Google. They're just saying, hey, we choose the keywords. But that, that little... That little fine print, it means everything. It really does, and most people don't have any clue how important that is. Right, and uh, that's why when we go see a customer who has any of these pedestrian marketing companies or sort of standard fare, it's almost as if, you know, when we walk in the door, we're going to basically save them 50% of what their spend is just by pulling this, uh, this information out and realigning the campaign so there's transparency to show exactly what... Uh, they're buying. Right. Great, Mike. Awesome conversation. And again, another, um, you know, sort of like consumer advocate uh, strategy that I'm glad that we're going down the path of helping people make some decisions.